Hello everyone, good trailers are luring and help to ramp up sales. Bad trailers, in other hands, usually try but fail miserably. In this video, I will show you how best to create convincing trailers in Adobe Premiere Pro. Without much ado, let's get started. Welcome to Brand and Graphics. My name is Vincent Annie. Let's begin by creating a new project and name our project. Import the video clips you have previously downloaded. How to choose video clips you need for the trailer. In certain projects, clients will provide you with the video clips. Otherwise, you choose the video clips for yourself. Here we are creating a book trailer. My client provided me with this brief. You can pause the video and go through the brief one by one. A night of passion, years of ghosting, a jilted lover, a sudden reappearance, a startling discovery, drawn battle line, are some chances worth taking in the name of the book. A gentleman takes his chances. So we are going to take each item and think of a video that we're going to use to depict the emotions and message in that item. Let's take item one, for instance, a night, a night of passion. We are going to recite some websites for videos that depict a night of passion. In this case, I use Freepik and Bezel.com. Let's go to Freepik. Type in a key phrase, a night of passion. Download the video and save it in a folder. Go to item 2 and do the same. Item 3 and do the same until you have downloaded all the video clips you need for the trailer. Please know that you can use more than one video clip to depict a statement. Here I have the clips we are going to use in this project downloaded organized in this folder and imported into Premiere Pro. Now it's time for us to create a sequence. You are going to create a sequence based on which media the trailer will be published. Please ensure your sequence is in sync with the social media that you are producing the trailer. Click on the new item button to create a new sequence. Select preset setting or adjust the custom setting. Then we are setting and save it for future use. We're going to use this clip to create a sequence. We can drag and drop on new items icon. We have our sequence here. Trailers are not usually long, so we are going to create a trailer that is less than a minute long. Cut. Press Q to cut. The first real clip we are going to drag into the timeline is a night. We'll keep checking our brief. A night of passion. This clip suggests just that a night of passion. Let me quickly undo with Ctrl Z. I'll double click this image to view it on the source panel. I'll drag the play here to scrub. I want to take it from here.
press your eye on your keyboard to indicate your to indicate your marking and we'll drag this a little further three seconds six seconds mark out we can drag this from here into the timeline otherwise you can use your comma or your period on your keyboard to bring them into the sequence this video clip is doesn't match the size of the sequence so I'll click on it right click and set to frame size double click the second clip for years of ghosting to preview it in the source panel scrub until you find where you want the clip to begin then press i scrub again and press o where you want the video to end Position the playhead. Position the playhead here. Press comma, then drag the clip down. Do the same with a jitted lover. A sudden reappearance. A startling discovery. Drawn battle line. Are some chances worth taking? A gentleman takes his chances. If you are getting value so far, please subscribe for more videos like this. Then we are going to add transition effects. Go to effects, click on video transition, Choose this one, drag and drop in between clips. Finally, we are going to add graphics. Go to graphics, browse to select template. Turn all the features you don't need, keep it simple.
I'll quickly take a break for the final adjustment of the entire sequence. Welcome back. We are going to play back this final project with our music. Most clients prefer choosing music from their social media platform to avoid license issues. If you stick around, I will attach music from Premiere Pro and playback, and then you will experience the terrific transformation. Thank you for checking in with me. Please like this video and subscribe to promote my work.